It is February 1st, the beginning of Heart Month, and heart disease is the number one killer of women. Cardiologist and medical director of the St. Luke's Women's Heart Center, Tracy Stevens, is here to talk about how you can take control of your heart health. And thanks so much for being here. And congratulations now. This is 25 years for the Heart Center, the Women's Heart Center here in Kansas City. Where did we start and where have we come so far? You're exactly right. We are so excited to celebrate our 25th anniversary, recognizing we're the first women's heart center at St. Luke's in the country. Wow. Dedicated to women's heart health. And the first 10 years of this journey has been raising awareness. We know that heart disease is the number one killer of men. We didn't recognize that in women. So our first part of our journey was raise awareness, mm -hmm. then incorporate the whole family mm -hmm. to now dedicating time and effort to much needed research on gender related differences in women's heart health. Wow, so what are we learning? What do we know that we can use information we can really practically apply to really avoiding this heart disease? The important message is to recognize this is our number one health threat, mm -hmm. that heart disease kills more women than all forms of cancer combined. Wow. When we first started this campaign over 25 years ago, one in two women would die of a heart attack or stroke. We've made some progress, but much needed, uh, now one in four. And so I think the key is be aware this is our number one health threat. Recognize symptoms and do something about one's heart health. Do so, you feel like people don't do something until something bad happens to them? Yes. And then maybe the people around them might get a little motivated. So you're wanting to avoid that. You're wanting to be, us to be proactive. That's right. The best way to treat heart disease is to prevent it. And we want women and men to be proactive rather than reacting to a crisis. And this is a condition for the most part we can prevent. So we know the things, you know, uh, get more sleep, exercise, eat healthy, um, you know, get moving. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the message is there. People know the answers. Stop smoking. Don't smoke ever. What, what is the disconnect? What do you think is happening that people aren't doing it when they know the potential could be death? I think it's the, the odd perception that mm -hmm. someone else is responsible for our health. Mm. And in my office, in my clinic, I ask my patients, who's responsible for your health? Is it you or me? If it's me, I need to see you here every day. Oh. So it's kind of an aha moment. Mm. It's not once a year that makes you heart healthy. It's all the days in between. It's discipline on lifestyle, knowing your blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar. It's our responsibility for our health and taking ownership. Don't just put it on a list, take action. Yeah, don't expect you to just kind of fix me if something happens, but allow something not to happen. Take action so that it doesn't happen. That's a, that's a powerful message, Dr. Stevens. Thanks so much for coming and for being here. I mean, you're, we're just lucky to have you and you're a national force in heart disease and women's heart disease across this country. So we're just glad to have you right here in Kansas City coming on the show and, and helping women everywhere. Thank you. Well, thank you. And we're, we're honored to be part of this team for our community. Another 25 years for the Heart Center at St. Luke's. That's thank right. You. <laughs> we'll be right back.